Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here talking about watches today. If you paid attention to my recent videos, you've noticed some changes in my EDC. In addition to my interest in guns, knives, and outdoor gear, I've taken a renewed interest in watches. I'll, as I'll discuss in the video, there was a period of time when I didn't wear a watch at all, but just recently I've gotten back into watches, partly from watching videos like those from Mr. Dagon007. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. In fact, I bought three new watches just in the past three months. My most recent purchase is this beautiful Hamilton Spirit of Liberty watch. And I'll try to give you a close-up of that dial. In particular, I like the patina on this band. I'll do a video just on this watch later on. The topic of this video isn't about any watch in particular, but about the dramatic change in watch design and use that I've seen over my lifetime. I think I've seen three paradigm shifts myself. Now Webster says the word paradigm comes from a Greek word meaning model or pattern. It's the typical way we do things until something happens to change that pattern. Often the change is the result of advances in technology. One rule is that when a paradigm shifts, things get turned on their head. In industry, it means that the playing field is leveled. Do you remember the BlackBerry, for instance? At one time, the BlackBerry was cutting edge technology and it was the must have gadget. Now, how often do you see somebody carrying a BlackBerry? They become almost obsolete because of the smartphone. In watches, for the first half of my life, the paradigm was wearing a mechanical wind-up watch on your wrist or in your pocket. This Elgin was my high school graduation gift from my parents, and I carried it for probably 20 years. It still keeps excellent time. I have a video on this watch titled Swiss Watch Made in South Carolina. During this watch paradigm, Swiss watch manufacturers were king of the hill. The best watch movements were made in Switzerland. A paradigm shift occurred, though, because of technology that drastically impacted Swiss watch manufacturing. It was the invention of the electronic watch movements of the late 1960s. This Timex Ironman Triathlon is a more recent example of this type of watch. The Casio Databank Calculator watch was one of the most popular watches of the 1980s. I'll try to uh, put a, a, a picture of the data link in right now. These watches could be made anywhere and the watch industry took off in Japan and other countries. I'd love to have my Swiss viewers comment, but it's my impression that the Swiss watch industry almost tanked at that time. A second paradigm shift occurred in watches or timekeeping after the turn of the century. Now I've represented it here with this blank space in between watches because for probably a decade I didn't wear a watch at all. There wasn't a need to wear a watch when I carried a cell phone with me almost everywhere I went. Cell phones have morphed over the years into smartphones that have almost unlimited capabilities for communication, but they eliminated the need to wear something strapped to your wrist. So what's changed that caused me to start wearing a watch again? Well, it's another paradigm shift. It could be a personal paradigm shift just within me, but I think it's much more than just my way of looking at things. For instance, pick up a Wall Street Journal and count the number of watch ads. Watches are back and in a big way. And by the way, Swiss watches are back. They aren't back because of accuracy. This Swiss made Hamilton gains seven to eight seconds per day, which is disappointing to me. For me, I notice that I really don't carry a cell phone with me as much as I thought. There are many times that it would just be more convenient to have a watch on my wrist. By the way, my favorite new watch is this Casio Wave Scepter that syncs with the atomic clock daily. I'll do a review of it soon, but it's the watch that I wear the most of the three new ones that I've just bought. I think the main reason watches are back is because of fashion. Watches have become jewelry. Maybe they always were to some people, but they weren't to me. What's the next paradigm shift in watches? I think we're seeing it in the marketplace today. It's the smart watches, like the Apple Watch. 
With fitness apps and internet access through the smartphone, the next generation smartwatches are sure to stand the watch industry on its head again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Y'all take care.